Hello. Hello. Where are we today? Today we're in Corona, Queens. <laughs> today is February 15, 2021. And it is currently 34 degrees. How did you know that? Because I just checked it. Oh. <laughs> well, does it feel warmer? No, it feels just right. Okay. No wind, so mm -hmm. that's nice. So we're starting on a street full of these semi-detached homes oh, nice. with shared driveways. Colorful. Yeah. <laughs> well, this this street is very colorful. Yeah. We're in Corona today because I ordered some ice cream pints from Baskin Robbins. So we picked it up. I got two flavors. We got the Love Potion flavor of the month and originally i was gonna buy the jamocha that's my favorite flavor in baskin robbins but they didn't have any so i just got cookies and cream which is also delicious that sounds wonderful yep. i can't wait <laughs> the love potion is what well, i think it was white raspberry i haven't really tried it but it sounded good because mm. i usually like the black raspberry flavor so let's see what the white raspberry is <laughs> Or it's like vanilla with raspberry swirls. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, we have a staples. Oh. How rare are those now? Yeah. The next blockbuster. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I used to go to staples in the summer during uh -huh. their back to school sales. Yes. The 10, 10 cents <laughs> pencil <laughs> box. 10 cent folders. Yeah. Every 10 cents. A lot of things that was awesome those are great sales yeah seriously now that we don't really have any use for them though yeah because we all all do everything on online mm -hmm. even back then when it was 10 cents you still had to pick hard on what to get. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think we're on 37th avenue and 94th street oh no it's roosevelt ave oh roosevelt ave sorry about that <laughs> yes roosevelt ave. under that the train yep. look the train's coming Got it over with. <laughs> yep, until five minutes later. Look at this mess. Oh man. Wow. So Corona is uh -huh. next to a lot of neighborhoods. Yeah. We don't come here that often though. Oh, uh, we drive by it. Yeah. It's a real Queens neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. But we don't really spend a lot of time in it really. Uh huh. But Corona is a neighborhood in Queens and it's bordered by a lot of cities. Uh -huh. Get some. Definitely Jackson Heights because we came from Jackson Heights. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm gonna assume it's next to Elmhurst. Yep. Because your brother used to live in Elmhurst. Yep. Elmhurst. Yes. And then Flushing. Yep. Good. One stop over. Yep. Um, above it is East Elmhurst. Yeah, exactly. Which is almost Jackson Heights. <laughs> and what else do we have? Okay, we got Flushing and Flushing Meadows Corona Park. Uh huh. To the east, Jackson Heights to the west. Forest Hills and Ringo Park to Forest the south. Forest Hills, okay. Right? Forest yes. Hills and yeah. Ringo Park. You're right. Uh huh. To the south. Elmhurst to the southwest. And East Elmhurst to the north. Sounds a little busy here. Yeah. Main streets, 
They're called Corona Ave, Roosevelt Ave, ooh, Northern Boulevard, just Junction Boulevard uh -huh. and 108 Street. 108 Street. Here we have Junction Boulevard. Oh yeah. How many stops is this away from Main Street pushing? I think it's two more. Okay. This does smell so good. Is this the Baskin Robbins Street? Oh yeah, I think so. <laughs> is this a, if this is Junction Boulevard, then it is. Yeah. Wow, it's so lively. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what Corona means in Spanish? I forgot. I learned it before though. Crown. Oh, wow, makes sense. Well, and also in Italian, it's also Corona. A much different meaning now with COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this area was originally called West Flushing. Interesting. Yeah. And then in 1872 or 1870, they petitioned to have the name changed to Corona, suggesting that it was a crown of Queens County. Ah. It is a very iconic Queens name, right? Wow. <laughs> okay. So, Different Spanish cultures, I think a lot of Colombians and Mexicans. Yeah. Apparently, there's more than 70% Spanish. Seven. That would be higher. <laughs> okay, it's a little more open and quieter now. Uh huh. Okay, that's lively. Switch hands because it's cold. Well, actually, this might be um, like based on 2010 census. That's 70 percent or 73 percent. Yeah, should be close though because it didn't change too much. Oh, okay. I got gloves. That's okay. I'm not seeing much down there. Wanna turn yeah, right? Let's, let's turn. <laughs> okay. We're gonna walk into a more residential area now. We're going to the residential? Well, I mean, the quieter residential area. And then we should go on the Duncan Street, Junction Boulevard. Okay. Because we walk past it. Yeah. This is Roosevelt and 98th Street. What is this? I don't know. Maybe a school? Is it a school or a power plant? Uh, Take a guess. Yeah. Comment in the comment section below. <laughs> power plant. Well, it okay. looks like a school. Good job. <laughs> Close. Corona is very densely populated. Yeah. It's almost impossible to find a parking spot in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We spent a long time. Yeah. And from my experience of photographing here, mm -hmm. I always have to give it an extra 10 15 minutes wow. just to find parking. We did find a spot, but then the snow was too piled up too high, so we left it. Yep. And we found another spot on the next block. Mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream is in a car. That should be okay. <laughs> Melting little, little, little by little. So we have to do a quick walk. <laughs> Playground, mm -hmm. a tiny football mm. field, <laughs> track field. Mm -hmm. 
in high school, did you have to run the track a lot? High school, no. Every time, every every class, we started by warming up and running the track. Oh, actually, in my freshman freshman year, I did. Yeah. But when I got into the art school, it was just very. I don't remember a lot. The only time I had to run in the art school was for pacer tests. Oh. Which I wanted to do well. And did you do well? I did. In a whole school of girls. What? No offense. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're in the quieter area, it feels like every other part of Queens. Mm-hmm. Well, not every other, but the feels similar to Elmhurst to Jackson Heights. I guess at one point they were pretty similar. Yeah. And it's just a neighborhood over. Mm-hmm. Realize we didn't eat lunch yet. You're right, should we pick up something? Uh, what's in Corona? Tacos. Huh. We have tacos in Jackson Heights. <laughs> that's true. Well the that's... Bayou the way a long time. You talking about the The Berry Alanda. Yes. Landia. But yeah, Jackson Heights, a lot of Hispanic food as well. Mm-hmm. Spanish food. Ninety seventh Street. This street. Yes. Yeah. I definitely photographed something on one of these blocks. We'll go this way. We have our typical corner Chinese food, fast food. <laughs> Is that Chinese food, Ming? Yeah, Chinese restaurant, you mean? Yeah. Oh, but now I'm really Chinese food. Uh-huh. I mean, it is Chinese food, but different from homemade Chinese food. Yeah, when I grew up in China, I could I could count how many times I ate actual fried chicken. <laughs> Probably less than ten times. How about like chicken broccoli? No, that's not it either. <laughs> Oh, General Tso's chicken. Nope, not it. <laughs> and half those times that I ate fried chicken, it would be in KFC in China. Ah. <laughs> isn't it like fancy in China? Pizza Hut is very fancy in China. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun eating those back then. Yeah. It was a sit-down restaurant, okay? Yep. The waiters and waitresses took your order. Yeah. <laughs> and you could order the pizza, the crust with the cheese inside. Uh-huh. So delicious. So different <laughs> from the U.S. Pizza Hut. With the cheese inside. Wow. Yeah. It was so good. I remember for the longest time, it was McDonald's and KFC. Mm. And then it turned into Pizza Hut, which I didn't quite understand what it was back then. Uh, like what exactly is it? There's some stuff on bread. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> pizza. So all these storefronts are actually 
residentials upstairs, or it's a regular house, and it turned the first floor, first floor into commercial. A lot of traffic. Yeah. What traffic? Yep. <laughs> you, would you rather live in a residential residential place, or near all these convenient locations? <laughs> When you say it's about residential down the block from here or much quieter neighborhood? Yep. I still might have to pick here. Yeah. This is what I'm used to. Yeah, you like really like prioritize living near the train stations. Except if it's a nice neighborhood though. Like if it's Bayside. Oh uh, yeah, then you would, you would take the train. Or drive. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Because <laughs> even if you are a few blocks from Northern Boulevard, mm -hmm. Northern Boulevard doesn't really have much out there. Yeah, just take the train. Yeah. We're <laughs> on Junction Boulevard. Yep. Guess we could go down that way? Yeah, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Should I take over? Sure. Alright, let's walk really fast. Just kidding. <laughs> hmm. What do we have here? A lot of convenience stores, clothing stores. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell. You got a Taco Bell. And the Dunkin' Donuts is not street. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there like half an hour ago. Yeah. We went there, we got, we picked up the ice cream, we spent like 20 minutes finding parking. Uh -huh. So, food. yep. Whoa! Oh, Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, We got T-Mobile, Bank of America here. Oh, there's two T-Mobiles. Oh, interesting. That one. Why is that the case? And that one over there. We got a rainbow here, Claire's. Okay, this is shopping area. Yeah. <laughs> interesting thing about Neighbors of Corona is there's a lot of different Spanish cultures, Hispanic cultures. Mm-hmm. South American cultures. It's not just one kind of Hispanics. Right. Oh no, the Chipotle. It's new. When is it's this opening? Oh, it, wait. No, it's a work in progress. Ooh. So they have a new oh, Chipotle opening here, a Chipotle opening in... Oh, actually, the Chipotle opened in Jackson Heights already. Authentic burritos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Still love Chipotle though. Yeah. <laughs> ah. They have a McDonald's coming up, a City MD. Wow. The lines for City MD aren't super long anymore, right? Nope, COVID is over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chase Bank, AT&T. You have everything on the street. GameStop, Rite Aid. GameStop. Sarku Japan. It must, is it new? No. Not sure. McDonald's? Yeah. Burger King? <laughs> a furniture store on the right. Uh huh. Jewelry store on the right. Hello. This is a fun vlog.
today is President's Day. Oh, yeah. But on a typical weekday, rush hour especially, it'll take you minutes or 10, 15 minutes just to get through one block. Oh, goodness. Don't even think about finding parts. Today, President's Day, we are both off of yeah. work. For once. <laughs> Kennedy chicken. It feels like a Sunday. It does. Oh, this what is. What did yesterday feel like? Is this where they get all the MTA vests? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, this is a firefighter. It's typical safety gear. Oh. Right. If they require that at a job site. Ah. Uh. Oh, the Valentine's Day chocolates and all that. Probably oh. like 50% off. Time to hit up Target. <laughs> Actually. Back in high school, we just, after every holiday, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Christmas, their sales are like 50%, 75%, and then 90%. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Post Halloween, post Valentine's. Mm -hmm. We got a dollar store here. Much quieter now. Uh huh. Mattress firm. So many stores on Buck Junction. And this neighborhood is one or two train stations, train stops away from Main Street Flushing. Ah. Uh, it's a totally different neighborhood. <laughs> Completely Asian. <laughs> Lots of food places. Yeah. Lots of everything. up on 35th Avenue. That's what snow looks like when it's untouched. Oh, wow. Amazing, right? <laughs> Touched out here, untouched inside. It hasn't melted at all. Yeah. A little bit maybe. When was so, the last snow? It was like five, at least five days ago. Yeah, but I think the building's on the side block the sun. Ah, uh, got it. I think. That makes sense. Okay. That was a good tour. That was. Shall we head back the other way? I think we shall. Okay, let's head back another way. Shall we end it here? Oh, okay, sure. That's it, right? That's it. Thanks Is for there... watching. <laughs> bye bye. Take us out, Ming. Peace out. Enjoy Corona. <laughs>